Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call the Wild. Today I bring you guys some more highlights from the live streams and we got a few trophies that we've been after for quite a long time including a dark brown lion and finally our diamond European bison which you guys will see towards the end of this video and I am super super excited that we finally got both of those. There are a couple things that I've wanted for a long long time and well we can finally add them to our lodge. Now a lot of these clips are from at least two to three weeks ago so we don't have the bloodhounds in a lot of these clips. Most of these are pretty old for the most part, but because of all the bloodhound stuff, I've just kind of been putting these on the back burner, but I'm finally able to bring them to you guys. So without further ado, if you guys are brand new to the channel, consider subscribing. I post three to five videos a week along with daily live streams starting at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below to let me know that you guys enjoy the video. It really does help out so much, and I try to reply to every single comment that I can. But with that being said, let's jump straight into the video. 360 no scope the next mountain lion? Oh man. <laughs> Imagine. I actually don't think we'll be able to get close enough to this guy though because he is nervous. So we'll probably do that on a different... different diamond. Honestly, I think we can hit this angle. I think we should be able to hit this. That actually hit right next to it. Um, so if I had actually no scoped on him, that would have hit him. Why didn't I do it? That would have hit him. There he is. Will it be a diamond though? I'm going to guess maybe, but probably not. It is. Oh my gosh. Well, the one with the worst estimate ends up almost being max score. Oh my. That was way bigger than I expected it to be. I'm kind of glad we didn't try no scoping it now. Wow, that is a monster. I have not killed a mountain lion this big since the release of Silver Ridge Peaks. I think the th second or third day of release on Silver Ridge Peaks, we got ourselves a 40 scoring max score mountain lion. This is the biggest I've got since then. That is huge. Such a gigantic mountain lion. Well, we have a new addition for our lodge for sure. This is going to replace one of the smaller ones. And it's dark red too. That's crazy. Of course, right as I say, ducks are my worst enemy, we find one. That's a level 3. And we actually were able to hit it. So, I just gotta remember, don't make the dog track it, or else the game will crash. I can't believe that. Right as I'm talking about how ducks are my worst enemy, we find a level 3. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh gosh. Where'd the duck go? There it is, it's floating away. And we actually hit it on like the third shot too. 19.80 diamond duck. Well, I mean, it's not going to go into our main lodge since we're still on the early access build, but pretty cool. At least we found a diamond this stream. Can't really complain there. Pretty small one, though. Nowhere near max score at all. But still cool. At least we got something. That is a leucistic mallard. It's a pretty small one, but still awesome. There we go. Got that down. There is... Wait, where'd it go? Am I blind? I think I might be. Well, uh, somewhere here is a leucistic duck. Oh, there it is. There we go. There's a little leucistic. 14.60, just a silver, but still pretty cool. We'll replace one of our other ones with this thing. We'll get rid of one of the piebald or brown hybrid ducks and add this little leucistic mallard in. Because this is way, way cooler. It's either dark brown or the shadows are screwing with us again. Let's get a range on this again. 
just to make sure. So he's 236 away. It looks dark brown. That definitely looks dark brown. We're going to wait for him to get up again. And then we'll take the shot. Come on, lift your head up. Did we just hit the tree? Well, there's another. We definitely hit the tree. Because we aim top of his back at 260 meters. We zeroed for 150. It should have dropped down into the lungs. So I'm guessing we hit the tree. Where did he even go? Def hit the tree? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. The hitboxes of the trees in some parts of Call of the Wild are very large, so... I guess that tree just had a very large hitbox. This thing has to be dark brown though. Like, I've seen some lions in the shadows in this area before that made it look like they were dark brown, but this one has a much darker mane. We're gonna find his tracks and try to figure out which direction he went. And hopefully it won't take too long. Oh, that's him. That's him. Oh my gosh, it is a dark brown. That is 100% dark brown. That's so cool. I've never had a dark brown male. Oh my gosh. It's guaranteed now. It is confirmed that this guy right here is a dark brown lion. That makes me so happy. Ooh, he actually stopped. I could have taken the shot there. Smoked him. Oh my gosh. He should start losing health very soon. If not, then we might have to take another shot. Ooh, maybe that wasn't vitals. Uh, just so I don't screw this up, we're going to go back to the scope that I'm actually comfortable with. Make sure we get the second shot into him. How far is he? 300. We got this. There we go. He's going down. That was a much better shot. He's down. Dark brown lion on the ground. Well, guys, we have something that we need to add to our multi-mount. We're going to replace the diamond lion with this guy in that mount and then put our diamond on the wall somewhere. It's definitely vitals. There we go. Vital organ hit. That's so awesome. I did not think I'd ever find one of these. But there it is. A dark brown lion. Got to be one of the coolest things that I've got off of Savannah besides the albino lion. That's so cool. At first I thought we were getting tricked by the shadows again, but... This time it actually was a dark brown. It's only a five, but that's still super awesome. There it is. And you were definitely right, Blitz. It definitely did hit far back. Second shot was double lung vertebrae, though. Or no. Yeah, double lung vertebrae. Second shot was about as perfect as it could have got. I am honestly really, really excited to be able to put this guy into our multi-mount. I think that's going to be one of the coolest looking mounts in our entire lodge. That's so awesome. That's a male. But where is he going? Uh, there's some tracks. Maybe the bison moved past us already? It's kind of looking like that. I guess we'll see if it's a male. Oh, hi there. Oh, oh my gosh, it's a five! Oh my gosh, that is a level five bison! Oh my gosh, come back here. Oh my gosh! Whoever said that we were gonna find a five this stream, thank you so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we just followed a call. That makes it even better. 
What a way to start. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Please let this be a diamond. I'm going to be so sad if this trolls. There he is. There he is. There's our five. He's over the hill now. We're just going to take it slow and do our best to just creep up on him. He went in this direction. But I'm wondering, is he down on the shoreline or did he go left? I'm going to guess he probably went down to the shoreline and if that's the case, this actually might work in our favor. So let's move a little bit further right and see if we can get a view on him. We need to make sure we hold on the low end of the lungs so we don't hit the spine because they have massive spines. Should be good. Okay, it's going down. 50 to 75. Oh my gosh. We got it. Oh my gosh. We got it, guys. Yeah, he's already down. Oh my gosh. I have been waiting four years to get one of these down and have it actually be a diamond. I was trolled once in the past. So let's hope that this thing makes diamond. I am going to be so happy if it is. That step forward gave me 12 heart attacks. Me too, man. I was watching that health. Like, please go down. Please don't tell me I stomach shot it. It's vital. It's vital. Oh my gosh. There we go. So we for sure got vitals. That's all I needed to know. It's all I care about. Please let this be a diamond. Uh, there's not really a great place to claim it. I guess I could try... Like, maybe... That? It's a diamond! 281! I think that's a big diamond, too. Or at least a decent one. Well, you guys know what that means. It's time to take our Melanistic Goose and make a multi-mount out of them. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was so close. It's a good thing their lungs are huge. Otherwise, that would have been an issue. Any other animal, that would have been a stomach shot, maybe liver if we were lucky. But because it was a bison, we managed to clip the back of the lung. I can't believe the grind is already over. But like I was saying, we might continue grinding and try to get a piebald one too. Or just any rare male in general. The only rare I've ever killed was a female. So I'd love to get a rare male. And that was such a random situation too. We had just killed a couple females. So we started walking around. We heard a male let out a call, so we followed it. He just comes running past us. And it just happens to be the level 5 diamond that we've been looking for. That could not have gone more perfect. There we go. There is a level 3 cinnamon teal. It's been a little while since I've found one of these. See if we can get close enough. Oh, are you kidding me? Testing my duck aim, I see. Well, this is just beautiful. Of course, that'd be my luck. I gotta figure out the range real quick. 130? Okay, yeah, we can do this. No! Get back here! We will get this! No! <laughs> Please don't! Don't fly away from me. Oh my gosh, we got it. Finally. It's about time we hit that shot. Like 10 years later, we got it. It's okay though. It's on the ground. That was not easy with my terrible duck aim. 4.60. There we go. Diamond, cinnamon, teal. Well, that's the first diamond of the day. 
And it's been a little while since we've had a diamond teal. So that's kind of cool. Not bad. 180 meters. So that is our first piebald since the last patch. Well, that's pretty cool, even though it's a doe. Let's see if we can get this buck, too. There we go, we got him also. So on the last run through here, we did accidentally shoot that doe when I was trying to shoot the buck next to it. And well, it came back as a piebald. That's kind of cool. I mean, we don't really have any use for it in the lodge, so probably not going to taxidermize it, but it's still cool to see a rare. That looks awesome. All right, let's go ahead and claim it now. There we go, piebald whitetail doe. Of course, the one doe that we shoot out of this herd is the one that comes back as a piebald. Little unfortunate, but still cool to find. But we're not going to tax it. We don't really have any place in either of the main lodges, but it is what it is. Still really awesome. All right, everybody, that is going to be it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing. I do post three to five videos a week, along with daily live streams starting at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, be sure to leave a like down below and also leave a comment to let me know if you enjoyed the video. It really does help, and it also helps with YouTube's algorithms. And I do love interacting with you guys, and I try to reply to as many comments as I can. So if you guys have anything that you'd like to say to me, leave it down in the comments below. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace!